أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي كان موجودا قبل حدوث الأشياء ويبقى بعد فناء الأشياء تفرد بالأولية والقدم ووسم كل شيء ما عداه بالفناء والعدم على عز شأنه كل شيء هالك إلا وجهه وكل نفس ذائقة الموت وقال كل من عليها فان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنام سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا أبي القاسم محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم وهو أصدق القائلين وقوله الحق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما المؤمنون إخوة صلوات So in continuation to our discussion on the rights of the people of your creed, we discussed so far those rights that Imam Zainul Abidin salam has mentioned in his Risalat al Hukuk. The Treatise on Rights. It's very amazing discourse on rights from Imam. So last week I was giving a summary of what we had discussed so far. And I said we discussed the rights of your community members among them uh, and among those rights is warifku bi musihim wa ta'allufuhum so we, we reach to this this point wa ta'allufuhum we should keep the love and harmony among the community members this is one of our responsibilities that not just we be good with everybody but we should try to keep other people also be good with each other وَشُكْرُ مُنْعِمِهِمْ وَشُكْرُ مُحْسِنِهِمْ So those who wrong you, you be kind with them. وَالرِّفْقُ بِمُسِيئِهِمْ What Imam said. Be kind with those who are wrong with you or who are not good with you. This is one point. But how about those who are good with us? If be kind with both of them same in same way so it doesn't seem uh, like we have done any kind of justice because somebody who is not good with us or who is wronging us we be with good with him and be good with the person who is good with us should we treat both of them same way no not same way so Imam said, he, he used two words. Rifq bi musi'ihim. The person who wronged you, Rifq, be kind and nice with him. Which means, don't try to take revenge every time. Be kind with him. This is with him. How about those who are good? So they have more rights, of course. They have done good with you, you know, uh, Many maybe offer some favors, help. 
How about those people? So Imam says, wa shukrun aymin. For them, there should be shukr. We should be thankful to them. You don't, you usually, uh, it doesn't make sense to, to be sh thankful to somebody who is wronging you and say, thank you for wronging me. It's not thanking. So for him, it's being, being just kind and nice with him is fine. It's, it's okay, you wrong, wronged me. I'm not going to take revenge from you as Habil has had said to Qabil. Remember when uh, those two sons of Adam, uh, you know, they had some conflict and uh, the, uh, the elder brother who was Qabil, he said, I'm going to kill you to his brother, younger brother. He said, even if you try to kill me, I'm not going to extend my hand to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. Why? Because inni Allah. I fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even though you won't come to kill me, I'm not, ki I'm, I'm not going to uh, try to kill you. Yes, I might uh, try to help myself by defending me, defending myself. I will defend myself, but not plan to kill you. So I'm not going to be like you. What you you planning, I plan the same way. So what the difference will remain between me and you, between good and evil. So the person who is wronging you, be kind with him. This is one. But the person who is good with you, be thankful. Okay, now here is the point that Imam breaks down though the uh, ihsan, the goodness of a person uh, that he is dealing with you with, with any kind of goodness and niceness uh, and uh, he has been, you know, a muhsin to you. He is giving you a favor. So what kind of favor he can give you? He said, Shukru muhsinihim ila nafsihi wa ilayk. The person who is muhsin, who is good, he can be good in two ways. Good for himself and good for you. In both ways, you have to be thankful for the, you know, for both situations. If somebody is good for himself, he is favoring himself. He is good with himself. Say thank you. Somebody is good with you, he is favoring you. Say thank you. What is the difference? And why should I be thankful to somebody who is good for himself? So he says, the Imam says, فَإِنَّ أَحْسَانُهُ إِلَىٰ نَفْسِهِ أَحْسَانُهُ إِلَيْكِ Because when he is good for himself, remember we were talking about this issue before Ramadan. And we discussed some of those uh, points relevant to this one. So Imam said when he is good for himself means he is by himself. He is happy by himself. If he, if, if he does three things with the situation of being happy by himself, three things that he does which turns into favor for you, although he's doing everything for himself, but it will turn as a favor for you. What those three things are? Number one, إذا كف عنك أذاه. If he refrain from harming you. So he is busy by himself. He is happy by himself. He is by himself. So, he wants to enjoy his own life. So he has nothing to do with you. It still is good. At least he is not harming you. So he has, he and the person who is harming you are totally different. So there is somebody who is wronging you 
And somebody who has nothing to do with anything, just he is by himself. So, there is no difference? Yes, of course there is a difference. So, somebody who is not harming, this is not harming, is by itself is a favor. Why? Because in a society when you live together, there are two types of people. Even the, you know, in the families, you will find in the families, you will see very clearly. There are some people who interfere in every single thing. Who always give you some, you know, tensions and worries and cause worries. Object on everything. Or just, uh, you know, give you some hard time every time. If not you, they will give hard time to somebody who is related to you. Why? Because when he is related to you and he's being harmed for, by someone, of course, you will be affected by it. So there are in, in, in the family, in the community, people who interfere in everything. And there are some people who say, okay, whatever happened, I'm not going to speak anything. So are these two equal? No, not equal. So Imam says, if he is not giving you direct favor, he is just keeping quiet in, in your issues. He's keeping quiet. Okay. I am not going to interfere. This is a favor by itself. How beautiful is this? You look what Imam is saying. إِذَا كَفَّ عَنْكَ أَذَاهُ He is not harming you with any of his actions. Say thank you, brother. You're living with me. You are my friend. You are in the same center. You are in the same community, in the same neighborhood. But I never received anything wrong from you. Even if not any favor, but not even a harm. No good, no bad. Nothing from him. So he's by himself. It is also a kind of favor. So there are three types of people according to Imam in our society. One who can be maybe your enemy or against you or wronging you, harming you, hurting your feelings, doing something, doing your ghibat, doing those things that you don't like, causing so much pain for you. This is one. The other person is giving you favors, he's your friend, helping you. So they are in two different directions. Two types of people. Imam says, no, there is a, another one. Who is neither this, nor this. Neither he is helping you, or favoring you, or being good with you, neither he is against you. He is nothing. Imam says, this person is also, originally he is giving you a favor, but you don't understand. This is a favor for you. Why? Because he is not interfering in your issues, letting you do whatever you do, and you are happy by yourself. Why? Because this person is not interfering in your issues, or not giving you any harm, or not talking against you, or not backbiting you. Look. So we don't realize, but he is, this is by itself is a favor. Why? Because he is living as good human being. He is by himself. So Imam is saying this, this, this person is also, originally he is giving favor to himself. He is good with himself. He is not good for you. He is good for himself. Why? Because he is busy in his business. He is busy in his studies. He is busy in anything. He is busy by himself. Leaving you alone. So leaving you alone, it turns into a favor for you. You should be thankful to such people. Right? Even in the community, you see in the community, we see these three types of people, subhanAllah. Some people who always try to have something, some things should go on in the community. You know, and they enjoy the conflict in the community. There are some people, very few people, I know very few, but there are some people. 
not just in the community, even if we go into global society, you will see some people, they, their job is this, to do some fitna, some mischief, something, or support a mischief. So they try to just keep something going on to enjoy that negative kind of activities. These are very few people. What do you think? The terrorists are big in number? Very few. But they try to do something that they spread terror all around. It looks, oh my God, what is going on? There are few people. The same thing in the community, the same thing go even go down uh, in the smaller circle, smaller circle until you come to your family. These type of people, you will find people who just their, their interest is to keep something going on uh, um, in the society, in the community, in the in family. Uh, some conflict, some uh, backbiting, some, you know what he said, what, you know, she said. So wait, well, who has time to hear what he said and she said? Do you have time? Two minutes you spend, believe me. When somebody talks to me, she said this to me. He said, you wasted my 90 seconds. Just by mentioning this, by the time I stop you, you already have taken my 90 minutes, 90 seconds. Who will give the account of this 90 seconds in the day of judgment? Leave alone these things. You have a lot of things to do in your life, in your future. Why are you sticking there? What this happened? What that happened? He said this, she said this. Come on. Be bigger than all those things. Just elevate yourself higher. What do you think? Are you bigger and greater than Ahlul Bayt? What will Ahlul Bayt, you know, receive from other people? Always good things? Most of the people would talk against them. I'm just speaking about talking. Come on, what happened to them physically? Not just talk. People don't do us, don't harm us physically, they just harm us with their tongues. And nowadays, unfortunately, they have something, the tongue, when, when you speak with your tongue, it's gone one time. You say one time, it's gone. But when you text someone and harm him with your text, it remains. Your wrong remains un until when, you know, the time the text is there. Email or forwarding emails, which are, you don't forward good emails. Just you forward the emails that have some spice. You like spices, right? In eating and in everything. It's wrong. Do you have time? First of all, I ask people, do you have time? Why you have time? Why don't you use this time in good thinking, positive thinking? Only, always negative, negative, negative. No, he said to me, okay, fine, he said. Let him say it. Give him some freedom to say something against me. Believe me, if somebody says something, Mulana said this, it's fine. Let him at least say something, what, what, whatever he has in his heart. I would say he is even better than the person who is keeping everything in, the, in his heart as a, uh, you know, negative thinking and evil uh, thoughts. He is at least taking it out. Let him talk. Somebody, some, one of the ulama was informed that you know what, Mulana, that guy was talking against you. He was doing ghibat to, to you. I said, really? I said, yes. Okay. He kept quiet. Next day, he called this guy who was informing him that he, he was talking against you. He said, come here. You said he was talking against me? Yes. This is a gift. Can you 
take this because you brought this news so i am giving you this responsibility to take this gift and give it to him this is sweet gift something was something that makes him happy he says what why this gift are you joking with me? I said, I know, I'm not joking. If you were right that he was talking. Why? Because not always the person who is coming to you and telling you, he said this, she said this, is always right. Don't believe in him. Don't even believe. Don't take it serious. It's fine. Just take it easy. Easy. But if you are taking it serious, take it this way. The way this alim took it serious. So since you brought this news, I don't want to go and talk to him that what he said. Why? Because he didn't tell me. He told you something against me. So take this gift from me. The way you convert his bad word to, to me, take this gift and give it to him from me. But he said, okay, fine. I know you are a really nice person. I are Alim. But why gift? I can go and say, Mulana was praising you. So no, gift. Why? He said, because he has given me a big gift. You have no idea what gift is. If really he, he talked against me on my back, you have no idea how much he has given me. He has given me a big gift. So what? How is a gift? How can you call such thing a gift? Somebody is talking against you on your back and you're calling it a gift? What are you talking about? He said, yes. What I'm saying is not from me. It's from Ahlul Bayt. This is what Ahlul Bayt told us. In the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you something as a gift. You'll say, ya, ya Allah, I did not do this good things that you are giving me reward for. Okay, I will give you the reward for Umrah. You will say, Ya Allah, I never did Umrah in my life. <laughs> How am I receiving the reward of Umrah? On the other hand, he will give you uh, a punishment. Punishment for stealing this money. He said, Ya Allah, in my whole life, I never have stolen any money from anybody. What is this? Is this somebody else's account? You can forget and you can make mistakes, not Allah. Allah cannot make mistakes and mix up the accounts. You can mix accounts up. Not Allah. Then what is this? I didn't do this good. I didn't do this wrong. Why this reward and why this punishment? Then you will look into your own accounts. You try to find out the day you are giving a big uh, amount of money as a, as, as, as a donation to someone or help someone or to a masjid, a center. You try to find out in your book, booklet that you will be given to you in your hands. You see, check, check, check. Oh, I don't have that many mentioned here. I had received the receipt. You know, receipt from <laughs> the center, <laughs> but I don't see that receipt here. <clears throat> I did Hajj. I don't see in my book Hajj mentioned here. I think this is somebody else's account. No, 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 it is your account. Ya Allah, is <laughs> what is that? It is because I had told you earlier, my prophet has told you, I might have told you, if you beg by somebody for no reason, of course, there are conditions. If you backbite, if you do ghibat, the person who is ghib doing ghibat, your wrongdoings will be transferred to the person, the person who you are backbiting. His wrongs, your goods will be transferred there. And his goods, you know, his wrongs will be transferred to you. So you're losing your good things, your reward, and giving this rewards to him. And he is getting clean from his 
sins and those sins are getting transferred to your account. This is what is told to you before. It's not something suddenly you see this. So what you will see if this uh, thing good you see in your account which you never did, it is because somebody was doing your ghibat and you received his good in your account. If something good you have done and you don't see it here, it is because you did ghibat of somebody and that good have been transferred to him. So this alim, when he heard that somebody is backbiting me, he said, please take this gift and give him. Why? Because the thing that he has given me, I cannot really uh, you know, pay him and uh, recompense what he has done. He has done bigger favor for me by backbiting me. This was just to give you an idea that how can we be higher than those negative thinkings. Don't be sensitive if somebody has talked about, you know, against you. Don't be, you know, uh, serious about the things. Take all things easy. Yes, you should make one thing sure. Subhanallah. I will, of course, going to finish here. So we are talking about Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salatu wasalam. And all our discussion is un, um, under uh, Risalatul Hukuk, which is by him. Now he is giving us so good instructions, so beautiful advices, subhanAllah. But let's see that what he is saying, how it matches what he does, what he has done in his life. So his practice and his sayings. Do the match. So see, of course he is Imam. Imam. Somebody comes to him and starts blaming him for things that he never did. And using even bad words against him. He was just walking and as he started using bad words against him, he stood up, started listening whatever he said. When he finished, when he done talking, he said, brother, whatever you said, let's ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala something, both of us. Whatever you said, if it is right, may Allah forgive me. He's Imam, remember, he's Ma'asum, to teach us the level of akhlaq, where, where we are, where we are, level of akhlaq. If really what you said is right and true, I'm this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, I have done this, 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 whatever you said, ask Allah to forgive me. But if it is wrong and everything is allegation, and whatever you said is lying. May Allah forgive you. Finish and he left. He came and he put his forehead on his feet and said, please forgive me. I never knew that you are so great. I did not understand who you are. Now I know who you are. And Alhamdulillah, he became a mu'min. This is akhlaq. So don't waste your time in very cheap, unnecessary things which have no value. Keep moving ahead. Have a target, have a goal in your life and just keep moving towards that goal. And inshallah someday you will reach, if not that particular goal, at least something close to that goal. But if you keep every time exiting uh, from this right path and going here, and uh, engaging in things that, that don't have any value in your life. You will lose your time and you will not reach the goal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and ability to follow the instructions of Quran and Sirat of Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salatu wa salam.